we go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, Mr. Bob Arams, top-ranked boxing, along with MP Promotions and Kodo Promotions, is proud to present Firepower. The main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza con Carácter, AT&T Go Phone, unlimited voice and text for $60 per month. Smart Communications, the Philippines' leading wireless service provider, and travel the world with Aero Mexico. And Pawn Stars, the hit show on the History Channel. In the ring at this time, cast the Pawn Stars, the appraiser, the spotter, Big Hoss, and Chum Lee. This contest sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Pat Lundahl, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, WBO President Francisco Paco Barcarcel. At ringside, the three judges scoring the contest, Adelaide Bird. Dwayne Ford and Dave Moretti. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Kenny Bayless. And now, for the thousands in attendance here at the MGM Grand, and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get it. Fighting out of the red corner, standing with head trainer Freddie Roach, wearing white with red, official weight, 144 pounds, professional record, 54 fights, 49 victories, including 37 knockouts with three defeats and two even. He is a sixth division world champion tonight. He's going for a record seventh division title. From Sarangani province, Philippines, Six-time world champion, the challenger, Manny Pacman. And fighting out of the blue corner with head trainer Joe Santiago, wearing white with red, official weight 145 pounds. Professional record, 35 fights with 34 victories, including 27 knockouts and only one defeat. He is the former undefeated junior welterweight world champion and current two-time reigning, defending WBO welterweight champion of the world, De Jaguas Puerto Rico, Miguel. After he won his first world title at 112 pounds, Manny Pacquiao goes for number seven at 147. But a strong, determined, outstanding champion stands between him and that. Determined is the word, Rich. I have plenty of fuel for the fire. Miguel Cotto, a champion, just a single debatable tainted loss and almost a three to one underdog. That is fuel for this firepower show. And Miguel is serious. Manny reached out to give him the Touch of the gloves in the opening round, and Cotto refused it. Uh, he's been dead serious, start to finish, it seems. Oh. And the jab in the face rocks Pacquiao back. Wow. wow. And just off the jab, you see the power from Cotto. And that's that's it, man. What an opening salvo, and a little bit of a statement there. I think a very big one. 
That was my first key to victory for Pac for uh, Miguel Cotto tonight was to use the jab, which he did against Shane Mosley. Very effectively against Mosley. Pacquiao cannot lunge in. He's got to fight fast. But, he, you know, he's got to be aggressive, but he's got to be careful. They know how dangerous Cotto is, and they think especially early. You know, Nick, I, I, you know, I, I hate to interrupt you, but I'm just so impressed that by the couple jabs and the counter left hook that we've seen him land, they really have jolted Pacquiao's head back, and you can really hear them and seem to feel the difference in power off the bat. He's got to do something to take this guy's speed away, you know, to get around the speed, and the jab will help. Time those rushes, and so far, Cotto having a very good time of it. Pacquiao well, taking his time here. He's in the red. A jab will negate speed. And if you remember the pre-Margarito Miguel Cotto handled speed very well in the likes of Zab Judah and the likes of Shane Mosley. Well, let's not make uh, Pac you know, Cotto out to be this one-dimensional slugger. He could jab, he could counterpunch, he could box. He finds ways to win. No, he's a very, very good boxer. He's you got versatility. A really good point, uh, Rich, that uh, not only did he fight those guys that were southpaw, Zab Judah a southpaw. Um, the Carlos Quintana slick fast southpaw, chop chop poorly slick fast chop, uh, southpaw. So he knows how to handle it. Well, chop chop wobbled him, but he overcomes adversity, doesn't he? And here we see body shots a couple of seconds ago from Cotto. So those first left hooks reining in. It's almost a hybrid punch from Cotto, but it really will be a key, as Rich said, to this fight. And He's got to use that true welterweight advantage, uh, Miguel Cotto does. You know, he's the look bigger, and he is the bigger guy, naturally. Now, Pacquiao has managed successfully so far to keep the fight in the center of the ring, which is where he wants it, and he does not want to be against the ropes. But he's not but, fighting fast, Rich. Well, because he hasn't figured out what to do yet. He and has not figured out how to attack Pat, uh, Cotto yet. And it's very early. Listen, we're going to take nothing away from the guy who's pound for pound king of the world. Well, not just that, gentlemen. I think he tasted that leather really early, and he's a little reluctant to let those combinations fly right off the bat. Winding down round one, and a very good one for the champion in white, Miguel Cotto. Oh, and this is it going to be a good fight. You look great with that left hand. I thought Miguel Cotto fought a beautiful round, and there he dug a left hook to the body. Mostly he controlled it with his jab, but Cotto, I thought, just fought a beautiful round of boxing. I agree with you. It was very effective and set the tone very early on. With that jab, guys, so here we go. Round two. Half the crowd's on its feet, it seems. Cotto's in the white coming forward. Uh, counter punch from Pacquiao. The exchange here, but Cotto's the man coming forward. Pacquiao hesitant to lunge in the way he's been prone to do. Cotto did a good job with that stiff jab to find Pacquiao's speed. Pacquiao letting his hands go a little bit more in this round. Again, what do you what happens, Rich, when you get hit by a true welterweight? Right, that's the question. I don't think Manny can win the fight backing up. He's got to go side to side, and he's gonna have to show him angles and, and show punches to Cotto that Cotto hasn't seen before. He's taking his time, but Cotto's timing Pacquiao well. Cotto gives up his any kind of advantage there by going straight left to his knees. Pacquiao. Pacquiao moving away from that left hook now. Moving to his left, but now mostly out in. Not a lot of angles from him. Much more deliberate fight from Pacquiao. Nice left hand. Yodo absorbs the combination. 
Beautiful combination by Pacquiao moving, giving him angles, finding a range. But Cotto keeping him in control. He's you figuring know, things out a little bit now. And working the body, Cotto. Well, Cotto in, in control. He's not reverting right away, getting into a slugfest. There's that left hook, sweeps in on Pacquiao. That's a power punch, too. You better believe it. So landing a left hook that's shortening up on it is working well for the orthodox Cotto. Cotto a right to the ribs. Bayless wounds him to keep it up. This is where he not, doesn't want to be against the ropes. And, that was, and that's what Freddy was working with Manny, this whole camp, to stay off of those ropes. Absolutely. Beautiful combination by Pacquiao. Yeah, but there comes Cotto back, and Pacquiao has picked his shots. He's a precise puncher. And now we're seeing some of that speed, though, of Pacquiao beginning to make a little bit of a difference for him. You're right, Rich. I think he had to adjust to the strength of Cotto, and he had to realize that he could hang in there. And now he's able to set a little more into his plan. Let's see if he'll hang in there. This is a red-hot round, guys. Cotto's had his moments. He goes southpaw. Covers up. Just that switch. He doesn't do it a lot. He's a natural left-hander. Body head. But the body really landed. For Cotto, back comes Pacquiao. Stinging combination. Do you love it? Love it. Big combination. Big hook by Cotto. And Cotto's the guy moving forward. Great second round. A very close one. How'd you have it, guys? I had Pacquiao winning the second, Cotto winning the first. I agree. Nice. That's how I scored it, but it wasn't a big edge for Manny in that second round. The action was red hot throughout the round. Now Pacquiao began to figure Cotto out, although Cotto still was able to land big shots. Big combination from Pacquiao, staying on the outside, feeling a little bit more comfortable. Cotto using angles, jabbing. Well, it doesn't look like a three to one fight right now, does it, guys? Not at not. all. I thought those I thought those odds were preposterous from the beginning. Oh, Round three, here we go. Manny Pacquiao in the red, mostly in the white and red is Miguel Cotto, the champion. He's moving forward once again. It's measured aggression. One of Cotto's problems, he gets hit a lot. Sparring and the real thing. He's been wobbled. He's overcome adversity. He's been cut. He finds ways to win. Well, you know, the guys that have really given him problems, Nick, have been big, strong guys like Margarito, Claudia, that come forward cutting punches. For some reason, he does well against quick guys with quick hands, and he seems to nullify the speed with that Chris jab of his. Yeah, if he could time him, and he's done a good job, but here comes lightning combination from Pacquiao, and Pacquiao moving forward for the first time in the third round. Beautiful counter shot by Pacquiao. Yeah, here comes oh, Angles, and that's a blow up. Bad, bad break for the champion. But it is a knockdown. It, it is a knockdown. Seven. Woo. Hey, okay. Is he hurt? Did he get slipped? Is Manny going to try to close it out big? Could be very dangerous for him. Here comes Pacquiao coming forward. He's off the jab now. Pacquiao's in front of him. Taking the lead here. Driving the champion back. But here comes Cotto Southpaw again. Cotto's been down. Now he's bullying Pacquiao there. That's the right thing for him to do. Which he's shouldered him off. Oh, he runs into the hook, Pacquiao. But the champion retreats and resets. But I'll tell you, I like the speed of Cotto. He doesn't look so slow. Cotto does not look slow at all. He's seen the match in him with counter punches. And Pacquiao cannot get overconfident and think he has his man hurt and at the point where he's going to go for the knockout. But, but, oh, but this is so him. huge if it's a 10-8 round for Pacquiao. Pacquiao's had the champion on the floor. A flash knockdown in round three. Body shots absorbed nicely. Pacquiao says, give me more. But Pacquiao great grazes the ropes. They don't want him there, as Mario said. Three shots for the champion. Cotto with a hook. Pacquiao comes up with air. Cotto bites down with more power shots.
A lot of those Pacquiao punches missing. We should remember, too, that Miguel Cotto is a guy who has been shaken in fights. He has been knocked down, like by Ricardo Torres. He knows how to get up and win. Yeah, it's like a lot of hard. Yeah. Yeah. never yeah. That was a big combination. You know what I'm Cotto. giving? You know what? I'm starting to lean towards a 10-9 round here. Cotto's winning this round big, I think. I mean, other than the knockdown. You give Pacquiao the round, but is it a 10-8 round? Cotto's cut, I believe, under his right eye, if I'm mistaken. I think that's a very debatable 10-8 round. We'll take a look at that knockdown, and we'll get an opportunity to see how solid of a knockdown it was. I thought Toto had a decent round other than that. It's a very good round. All right, let's take a look at the knockdown now. Manny coming forward. Oh, that's a right solid hand. knockdown. Yeah. That is a definite knockdown, a right to the head sent Cotto down. There's nothing flukish about that one. He brought the, he brought the punches up from the body. Beautifully done by Pacquiao. So arguably a 10-8 round, huh? Cotto answered with a nice uppercut. Hook to the body, uppercut, straight right, beautiful combination. I thought Cotto dominated the rest of the round, but the knockdown was Manny Pacquiao, and the round belonged to him for sure. Well, that'll be an inch. This fight goes the distance. It'll be interesting to see how they scored that one. I scored a 10 8. 8. 10 8, probably, but arguably a 10 9. Here comes Miguel Cotto out, walking into Pacquiao. Pacquiao has not been lunging in. He's really picked his spots to flurry. And I think that's a big show of respect for Cotto's strength. Absolutely. Pacquiao able to try to bite a fight backing up. He could do it, and he may have to do it if this one goes the distance, because Cotto is coming with measured aggression. Oh, left hand lands to the bot to the face. Pacquiao did not slide off those ropes, and he had to pay the price. Another left hand, but Pacquiao answers with a counter left, and then a right to the body by Pacquiao. Clearly, this is the most Pacquiao's been hit in the last three, four fights. Since Marquez, maybe, huh? Sure. Nice body shot by Pacquiao. That's what he should be doing, turning, turning, and reloading. And usually when, when he was, uh, you mentioned Marquez, it was due to counter punches. This is the first time he's gotten hit yes. so much with him not being the aggressor. Well, Cotto looks strong, but Pacquiao was fighting back very well. But I, I don't think Cotto's doing it with counter punches the way Marquez did. I think, Not you know, he's, no, he's doing it more like Eric Morales. Uh, more, yeah, which it. Mario said, right. He's much more aggressive. So this is a different kind of a uh, boatload for Manny Pacquiao to handle. Pacquiao turning, turning back to perfect. And a nice textbook. body shot by Pacquiao as well. Whoa, that's textbook. But he does you want to get into a slugfest with him. Cotto wants to make it a war, it looks like. Left hook lands from Cotto, and now they're slugging it. And much has been made, Nick, of Cotto's body attack, but Pacquiao himself has a great body attack, and it's his punches come so fast, it's very hard to see. Wow, that was a beautiful, beautiful two-way action bit. It's deafening in here, and you've got 17,000 on their feet. It was a close round, guys. Man, these rounds are clicking on like the two-minute round. And I didn't think I'd see Manny be just resting on the, on the ropes. Manny's been driven back at times, but here he comes forward. Boy, it flashes a brilliance in this round. Turning, turning, Cotto, running him into shots. Cotto's left-handed now, trying to tee off with that left hand. Now he's back orthodox. And he can switch because he's a natural south. Oh, nice, nice movement from Cotto to avoid those oh. shots. And he's down again. Combination puts him down. He's hurt this time. He's very wobbly. I'm watching his legs. He's trying to get his legs back. He is very wobbly. He's been down twice. He'll get saved by the bell, it seems. Maybe. Maybe. Whoa, a 10-8 round again. And more than that, he hurt him. He hurt him. He, he outslugged the slugger. Doing his game plan. Box intelligently. Come on, you're a smarter fighter than he is. You know that. 
could do this, Miguel. All right, let's take a look at it. Pacquiao, just a brilliant left hook. Look at it, it's a one-punch knockdown. And you could see he was actually flagging in the wind, it looked like, before he went down. Pacquiao with the flurries and a beautiful left hook. It was sort of an uppercut. There it is. Series of uppercuts. Cotto coming forward, using his momentum, and Pacquiao oh. with his power punch, catching him with that beautiful left hook. You know, Manny Pacquiao is a freak. How does a kid who was a flyweight can I, continue I, to carry this power? Well, not only that, that not only that, not only bring his power, Rich, he still has that same speed. <laughs> Here comes Cotto forward, but Pacquiao is on the move now. He knows he can slug with him. He's gotten, obviously, the champion's attention and immense respect. He's put him on the floor twice. And we're only in the fifth. Here comes Cotto marching forward. They told him, you're fighting his fight. And I don't understand what that is. I mean, it should be a war of aggression, but the war of attrition is taking its toll on the champion. Now, Pacquiao need, uh, Cotto needs to get a rhythm back here, and he can start with the jab. He had success early in the first round. And there it comes. That's what he needs to just establish his rhythm again. Because Pacquiao's too fast for him otherwise. Nice left jab from Cotto, but back comes Pacquiao combinations. And he's coming forward. I thought if they stood and traded, Pacquiao, pardon me, Cotto would get the better of the exchanges due to the body attacks, but it's been the other way around. It's exactly outslug the slugger. Pacquiao turning, turning, looking for angles. Right, right hand. He's looking to line up that left, isn't he? Much like he did with Ricky Hatton. Absolutely. Cotto barrels forward behind the left hand. At least he's coming in punching. It's absolutely crucial that he does. He's going to walk into something big. Cotto southpaw again. Now he's squared up. Middle of the ring where Pacquiao wants to be. Let's see if he'll turn, turn, turn. Pacquiao has not pressed his advantage in this round. They've slowed down just a bit. But yeah, he's Cotto. He had him hurt. You're exactly right, Rich. And he's abandoned going to the body, which, which really slowed him down, I thought, in the round that he got the knockdown. Close round and not quite the fierce tempo we saw in the prior round. Cotto's been on the floor twice. The champion, the underdog, fighting for his belt and maybe his career. He should be roughing up Pacquiao right in this area. Pacquiao's taking there the round off. This is where he wants to keep the fight. Well, Cotto was dazed in that other round, that last round, so he's got to pace himself. Cody is trying to bully him there a little, and I think it's the proper strategy for him to use. But don't you think Pacquiao could fight all night? And I don't know about down the stretch with Cotto and stamina now. He's been rocked and hurt. You know, but did did all that drama in his camp, in the, the typhoons, the travel, the only really of three weeks of training, is that going to catch up in the later rounds? That remains to be seen with we'll Pacquiao. We'll see. If it goes later, Mario. It's true, Nick. End of five. Close round. Plotting, abandoning the jab, which he was having success with. This is what I didn't want to see. The uppercut from Cotto. This is what, pardon me, Freddie didn't want to see for Manny him laying against the ropes, and he's been doing that a lot. And Cotto not taking the full advantage. Round six coming up here at the MGM Grand. Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto. Cotto's been dropped twice. Pacquiao, we have him what, arguably had 48 45 guys. That's what I have it at 48 45. I gave that last round to Miguel to Cotto, Cotto. I did as well. Mario? I have it 49 44. I still gave it to Manny because he seemed to answer everything Cotto was giving him. But I don't know why I still have the feeling that Cotto has the power still to, to end this with, with one he shot. He certainly does. He's got a slugger's chance. But 
I question, I worry about this, I can, can, concerned about his stamina. Being down, being wobbled, being hurt, but he has gotten up and won before that way. I'll tell you one thing, after seeing Miguel Cotto fight Ricardo Torres, I will never yes. write him off in a fight. That's true. Because he said that's a He had his point. world rock, didn't he? And by a big, big puncher. Yep. But Pacquiao's inexhaustible. He's flying a very measured fight. He really hasn't overextended anything in terms of energy. He's had his tremendous bursts, but very much in control is Manny Pacquiao on the left. And that's now, a Pacquiao of old. Upstairs, downstairs, darting in, darting out. That's when he's the most effective. Yeah, three shots here as Cotto can't dial in in round six. I, this is such high-quality stuff. This is bo boxing at its highest level. We, you're exactly right. And to see two champions, world-class, trade like this and really put on a show, it's the best for the sport. That's and why this product is on okay. Pacquiao has the uh, champion on the ropes momentarily. Yeah, I thought he dinged him there a little bit. And, you know, it's funny. It's just odd that Cotto's, Cotto's been southpaw more times in this fight than most already. But he is fighting a southpaw. And Hasn't been effective changing over, trying to land that left from the southpaw position just to close distance. Pacquiao having a better round than Cotto here, don't you think? Oh, yeah, it's been, he's been active this round. I thought he kind of took that last round off. A lot of steam has been taken from Cotto. I agree, Mario. A lot of steam. Beautiful body shot. Those are those sneaky body shots. There's another one. I'm telling you, is Cotto wearing down as we approach the halfway mark of a scheduled 12-rounder? He's been dropped twice. And there's no question he's behind in this fight as Manny Pacquiao tries to take a title at a seventh weight class. Cotto cut, bleeding. And backing up. And when he uses the jab, very effective. Cotto adjusting here a little bit. Maybe it's starting to employ a different strategy. And he's been very good recently, Rich, at, at, at making adjustments and doing what he has to do to win. Oh, oh he got hit flush. Flush with the left chin. hand. And Pacquiao's holding on to him. And possibly, oh, and big shot by Cotto. Big return fire from Cotto, but a big round from Manny Pacquiao. And a smile from Manny Pacquiao as he goes to the corner. Round seven should be interesting. Face beginning to take on a very jaded look here now as Cotto came through and that was a quality left hook that Miguel landed driving Pacquiao back as you can see thrown with speed and really a lot of power Pacquiao answering with a big shot that really rocked Cotto at the end of the round isn't that ironic though guys they're telling Cotto get off the ropes that's what Pacquiao's game should be for me Cotto should take Pacquiao out of the ropes but they don't want him on the ropes they want him to box it is Try to land that hook. I, I sense that era, that sense of desperation now. They got to land a big punch. Cotto. Big Pacquiao's up. just got to keep boxing the way he is. He's landing enough power shots. This fight, and because of 24-7, really generated a lot of interest from outside of the boxing world. Hence, the office pool at my work. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got the seventh round. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Pacquiao on big. Cotto trying to time that rush, but Pacquiao far busier and more effective even in the seventh. And you can hear those shots. Back came Cotto over the left hook. Pacquiao he's southpaw again. Now yeah. he's orthodox. Oh. Yeah, he's impressing me with the shots he's been able to take. Because Cotto's landed some pretty solid shots, and Pacquiao's taken well, which was a big concern. Yes. First round, we said it was different. It appeared that that welterweight power was was forging to the forefront for Cotto. Uh, he looked like a 
big, powerful guy that was getting Manny's attention and respect. It, it just seemed like he was trying to figure out the way to attack, and he figured it out. He did. You're all exactly angles. Right, Look, all fresh angles, new punching opportunities for Manny Pacquiao. And Cotto is southpaw again, and he gets hit on the way in. He's leaning in the punches now, and now he's get walking back and getting driven back. Yeah, Manny looks like he's warming up, though, again. Absolutely. He's chasing him down. Yeah, he's the aggressor now. Cotto's, the, the fight is completely switched here. Cotto is the guy backing up and trying it's, to box. It's the height of irony. And Cotto is breathing with his mouth wide open. Cotto's throwing single shots infrequently. When's the last time we saw a right hand from Miguel Cotto? Cotto now on the jab, trying to turn Pacquiao. Pacquiao trying to time him. Cotto trying to pull a Tommy Hearns when Hearns fought Ray Leonard, yeah. when their roles reversed in that yeah, fight dramatically in the seventh round. Here comes Cotto with a combination. Combination that worked earlier in the fight. Manny blocked it this time. And he's trying to line up that left again, it seems. Beautiful thumbs. Left hand from Cotto. This is a very, I thought it was a close round in some regard, but. Who'd you have do enough to sweep by on that one? Well, I thought Pacquiao won the round. Yeah, just enough, I thought. Very close round though. Cotto's got to play serious catch-up. Get out of the Get out of the Keep circling him. How do you feel, Miguel? He said he feels good. All right, we take a look. There's the speed of Pacquiao. See how that tells? He was able to get off three punches very quickly before Cotto could even react. There, another double combination. Tremendous speed by Pacquiao telling at many points in this fight. Cotto's trying everything. He's been southpaw numerous times to no avail. Now they want him to box and circle the ring. He's fallen hopelessly behind, guys. Well, he's he's well behind, but I, I don't have a feeling that he's out of the fight. Right. I, I was just about to say that he's, he's, he's behind, but not out of it. And he's telling his quarter he's fine and he's, and he's good, but his face is but, uh, telling a different story. But do you think <laughs> not out of it because he has a puncher's chance or that he could box his way back in? I think he's running out of rounds to do that. I think he's running out of rounds, I but history shows that uh, he's been able to make adjustments before, and he still has that punch's chance. Yeah. Uh, punch, that's what I mean. He's got to knock him out. I still think Cotto could win the fight on points, but I think he would need to score a knockdown along the way to do that. Well, absolutely that. Boy, Pacquiao very much, again, in control. Very measured, measured aggression. The fight in Burso, he eats a left hand nice there, but it's a single shot. Cotto's got to come back with the right. But Miguel's finding a, a rhythm with his legs now. Yeah, that, that's one of the Boxing. adjustments we're talking about that he's made. He started just in this seventh round, being more on his toes, staying on the outside, picking his shots. Oh. I don't know if he's being effective, but he's surviving. He got his arm up in time to block that shot yeah. by Pacquiao. You know, Pacquiao doesn't have some great inside game, but he's just so quick that the fresh angle's there for him. But look at Pacquiao walking to the champion. <laughs> the smaller man <laughs> walking him down. Moving him to the ropes. The big Shot. left hand, which he's tried to line up all night. And this is the very same arena and ring where Cotto suffered his last defeat. Will it be deja vu? There you go. Cotto with no head movement. He may be moving his feet, but he's still a target. Left hook to the body by him. 
So Pacquiao with that burst of firepower, winning this round as well, it would appear. There's the right hand from Cotto. Tries a combination. Cotto had a great first minute, too, in, the, in this round. Pacquiao combinations land. Cotto in retreat. He's on the ropes now. And Pacquiao with three shots after three shots. The faster man and standing up to the power of the purportedly bigger guy. And the role's been reversed as far as the aggressor getting against the rush. Oh, and yes. Another one, another one for Pacquiao, huh, guys? Wow, yes, Nick. Putting Cotto up against the rope, unleashing combinations, just missing with the body shot there. Nice counter, left hook by Cotto, strongest punch. Pacquiao taking it very well. Cotto bleeding, and he's bleeding the, the eye, the same gash that uh, Joshua Clotty, uh, you know, Joshua Clotty fight early. Will that be a factor? It's pretty late in the fight now. We don't think so. But Cotto needs a knockout. And these rounds are flying by, gentlemen. We're in the ninth God, round. No, wow. no, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Oh, Nick, I can watch him fight all night. <laughs> <laughs> body, there's body work. We haven't seen that in a while from uh, Toto. They want Miguel to keep moving, and it's not a bad idea. He did good. He seemed to find a rhythm, but he's got to throw the jab when he moves. He can't just move. Just dancing and not throwing will not win him the fight. Uh, he, might, he might survive, but he won't win. Knockdowns or knockout. Multiple knockdowns or knockout at this point, guys. You know, does he have the strength at this point? Cotto's problem is he starts strong almost in every round. He fights a good minute, minute and a half, but it's always Pacquiao that comes on. Pacquiao, from what I hear in sparring, too, he, the, the, the problem is he's quick to make adjustments, and then he just overwhelms you with his counter, so it's hard for you to counter that. Yeah, that's a good point. I think Cotto got there stunned. He, he got there he comes. I saw him back off, and I saw a little look on his face. Yes. His nose is really bleeding now. Cotto's face so much. Pacquiao is zeroing in now. All about aggression. This could turn into a war of attrition right now. A couple of big power shots just missed. A lot of time left in this ninth round. Pacquiao's work rate has been so measured. Oh, oh and then now the champion absorbing punches. It could turn into a systematic beating unless the champion could turn things around. Oh. And now he's wobbled badly and holding on. As Pacquiao launched a furious assault. A minute left, gentlemen. That's a long minute for Miguel Cotto. Stay on his feet. And to get out of this fight, get to the next round. We'll see. He's trying to get his legs. He's on the ropes. Oh, and a big combination by Miguel. Wait a oh. Yeah, but this is a beatdown now, Mario. It is. It's systematic. Pacquiao. Looking for the evening-ending combination. Half minute to go in the ninth. Coming at him from all angles, with punching what he wants. Pacquiao asking him to come forward with the tap of the gloves. Another flurry drives the champion Boy, back. look at the face. It looks terrible on, on Cotto. He's getting all puffy, bruised all over. They might stop it in the corner. He's got to fight back. This is close to a 10-8 round without a knockdown. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, 
An overwhelmingly dominant round by Manny Pacquiao, taking complete control of the fight, doing it there with speed and combinations, leaving Cotto no choice to, but to do anything but just defend himself. He really couldn't fire back in this round as he was in previous rounds. Look at Manny just exploding. They're not all landing, but the speed is there, and Cotto can't answer. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier, guys, is the, the overwhelming punches that you just don't either have time or no... No reason to, to want to answer that. Well, Cotto's corner made it emphatically clear. They're getting on one more round, but Cotto's a guy who's had to do it on his own and make adjustments and overcome adversity. It's a very deep, precarious hole he's in now. Down twice, wobbled badly, beaten up systematically. Maybe three rounds to go if he gets back into the fight and wins this. Fight. And I gotta tell you, the first 30 seconds of this fight, I really thought we'd be seeing a different fight at this wow, point. Wow, didn't, wasn't that a punctuation point, Mario? I think more, just all the credit with Pacquiao making a beautiful adjustment, psychologically maybe, as yeah, well as in yeah, game he, plan. Yeah, he didn't rattle at all, did he? You know, I really thought coming into this fight that the tumultuous na nature of the camp of Manny Pacquiao this time, the three different training sites, the discord within his camp with people not getting along, that it might have an effect, and it just hasn't shown itself at all. He I hasn't figured worked. it take its toll. He's a machine. He's a machine. Rocky III will not uh, come to fruition, <laughs> it seems, tonight. Yeah, he loves the fight, doesn't he? All right, Cotto trying to box now. He needs to land that power punch. He's knocked people down with jabs. He's knocked people out with the hook, with the right hand. He needs it all now. He looks like he's trying to gather himself for one big assault. Yeah. Pacquiao moving forward. Stalking. Hasn't looked crisp this round, but... But Miguel would like to start something with a big, that big left hook of his. He's got to ignite something offensively. how he feels, how tired, how exhausted. Well, he's moving around yeah. like he's had a lot of energy, and I think Manny's just waiting for him to settle a little bit. It's almost like a matador waiting for the bull to yep. slow down for the final slay. He's tired of running. <laughs> I think Pacquiao could fight all night, can he? Half minute to go in the 10th. And we'll go to the corners and see at least the champion has found himself a little bit. And will they let him go to the 11th? I would it, it appear so. Well, he didn't get hurt any worse in this right. round. And he gathered himself a bit. They're just asking Miguel, can you give me one more round? Look at the face. Look at the face. It wasn't an enthusiastic yes by Miguel. No, it wasn't. And if he gives I don't know how your Tagalog is, but I got six minutes out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie Roach hasn't had to tell Randy Pacquiao much. Boo Boy Fernandez, translator, friend, confidant. These th three minute rounds must seem like 30 minute rounds to Cotto. 
at this point. Complete role reversal, and it happened before the halfway mark of this fight. Now, is it a matter of just pride now, Cotto finishing on his feet, as opposed to, to really trying to win this fight in the last six minutes? Because if he does what his corner is asking him to do, which is box like he did the last round, that's not going to win you the round. Not win it. So, you know, how do you land the left hook that hasn't landed much of the night? How do you suddenly land it? He's got to start by throwing it. He's faints by Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, you know, I think the uh, in terms of the punch count and the rate is way down for both guys in this fight. And Fred and Pacquiao, he's controlled this pace the entire fight. There he goes when he wants. There's a body when he wants. He got caught coming in there, but. He's full of fight now, halfway through the 10th. Dakota was just trying to pick a spot. Well, look, Pacquiao fighting him when he wants, coasting when he wants. It's all him. Cotto just has not been able to offer much in return in the last couple of rounds. No, he's it's, it turned into survival mode. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, he's moving well. His legs are still strong. And the crowd just waiting for an end, you know, for an end. For the flurry of the punch that ends it. And I, I don't think Miguel believes he can pull it off no, anymore. It's, it's, it's no. He's, he, he had that look on his face yeah, in his, the corner where he wants to maybe just... I have a, a, a moral victory by ending it on his feet at this point. No, nothing's working, guys. Nothing. Manny. And that's just a stare down. Wow. The bigger man has surfaced tonight. And he's in red. Rich, I know they're totally different fighters, but assuming deal can be made, anything you've seen tonight give you indication that Pacquiao can handle himself with Mayweather. Sure. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> they're gonna stop it in the corner, I think. I think they're calling it right now. He's on his feet, yeah. is Cotto. I believe they're I gonna stop this safe. fight. Right here and now. Yeah, Kenny Bailey says we've seen see it. it. Technical knockout. We'll take a look. They're telling you, keep doing what you're doing. We're behind, but just keep doing it. In other words, try to finish the fight on your feet. When they got into the ring, they were waving it off. That's a and point. they changed their mind. It's wow. a point of pride now. It's a point of pride, but, you know, it could be dangerous. Yes, I would admit that's a great point, because let's hope pride doesn't get in the way of good judgment, because, you know, this guy may not fight again if he takes a beating now. And Manny's going to try to close this out in a big way. I would think so. Three minutes to go. And there he goes. Pacquiao is all over him. It looked like they were trying to stop the fight when they came into the ring, but Kenny Bayless was collecting the cards and didn't see them right. waving it off. One of the photographers was actually on the apron saying, congratulations, and Kenny had his face turned. Well, now we're in the 12th, needless to say. And Manny is in the house as the champ lifts up from every seat in the house it would seem the puerto ricans crowd has gone silent stinging oh, combinations and of it is a round knockout for manny pacquiao when will it ever end for pacquiao there is no limit it seems to what this man can do i said it as he's now Welt, uh, welterweight champion of the world.
Nick, I said it after the Ricky Hatton fight. I'll say it again, and I feel even stronger about it. We are looking at one of the all-time greats. This guy stands with the greats in the great pantheon of boxing in any decade, in any era. Manny Pacquiao stands tall. He is one of the all-time greats. Seven division champion from flyweight to now welterweight. Hottest fighter on the planet. There is no doubt. Number one pound for pound. Who could argue that? Electrifying win once again over a megastar. Speed tells. Absolutely, and he used it. But and once again, speed mixed with power, and that speed helps his power. Absolutely. He didn't, I don't think he wasted anything, Rich. You know, he didn't go out there and try to throw 100 punches around, and he didn't have to. <laughs> that smile on the face again as he hugs Bob Arum, his promoter. And for the vanquished champion, this will be a holiday season of deep reflection, Rich. Well, Miguel Cotto had some great moments. First round, he fought brilliantly, but then the second round, he took that knockdown and it kind of threw him off. And the fourth round, he definitely got hurt. Guy after guy, you know, star after star, though, gets chopped down and taken out by this man, Pacquiao. Too much speed, too many shots. Kenny Bayless realized it in the end. Pacquiao coming, landing strong shots. Bayless jumped in. He didn't want to see Cotto take any more punishment. Just too many shots. It really wasn't any harder or more dramatic than any of the other punches, but Kenny realized that enough is enough. You know, Rich, uh, and, and the tribute to the, to the winner is that the guy who lost did everything he could right, it seemed. He didn't do anything wrong from his training to his strategy and tactics, but it just didn't work against this man, as it usually doesn't. Manny Pacquiao is on top of the boxing world. He came home and came in a near three to one favorite. We questioned that, but he dominated in that fashion. Referee Kenny Bayless steps in to call a halt to this contest. The official time, 55 seconds of round 12, the final round, the winner by TKO victory and new WBO. Champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. All right, fabulous night for boxing. I think a, I think a great night for boxing, Rich, in that. This guy on a roll like none other in the sport elevates himself to even another level and it's just great for the game I think. Yes and because because of the star. fact that he's he's not only gone to another level in boxing but he's gone to another level you know personally in terms of what he means to his people and what he's now meaning to people all over the world. Transcending the sport as you said I mean this is this is huge. He's a star. He's a star. His Manny Pacquiao home. reigns supreme. Yet another belt to the collection. And where will it stop? Nobody knows. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's still smiling. He was smiling all the way down the aisle and into the ring. Inexhaustible, irrepressible Manny Pacquiao.